Today we're going to do an investigation in which students are going to compare and contrast two different chemical changes. First, they're going to do one that you have seen, and second, they're going to do one you haven't seen. Let's, start, let's talk about safety. Warning, do not do this at home without adult supervision. You're going to need goggles to protect your eyes. You're also going to need aprons to protect your clothes. And if you have long sleeves, roll them up so they don't get in chemicals or on fire. Also, if you have long hair, make sure you tie that back. Alright, today we're going to start with mixing vinegar and baking soda. You've probably done this at home already, so let's see what happens. I'm pouring the vinegar in the beaker. Now I'm going to put a spoonful of baking soda. Whoa. I'm gonna put the fire in the chemicals. And as you can see, the fire goes out. Next, we are going to mix uh, brewer's yeast and hydrogen peroxide, and then stick a extinguished lint over the gases. <clears throat> I will now pour the hydrogen peroxide in the beaker. And put a spoonful of brewer's yeast in. I'm going to stir it for a little bit. And then get the split on fire, blow it out, see what it does. Gonna relight it because it didn't work. Blow it out again, stick it in the bowls, and it ignites the flame. I'm going to put the burning cement into the mixture. It went out because the carbon dioxide didn't let the flame burn without any oxygen. The second time, oxygen was produced, and therefore the burning cement burst back into flame. Now your job is to look at the scientific method. How did the students do, and what would you change?